Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So, as per your request, I am solving uh, the problems on Laplace transformation, which is for uh, second semester BE degree students and also for uh, 18 scheme. Oh, those who have backlog subject uh, third semester, they can also refer this video. So, in this video, I will be solving uh, the model question paper uh, problems. So, consider uh, the Laplace problem called. Uh, we need to find the Laplace of t e power minus t sin 40 and also 1 minus cos a t divided by t. Consider the given problem as f of t, f of t equal to t e power minus t sin 40. First find out Laplace of sin 40 that is uh, given by 4 by s square plus 16. So then apply shifting property that is uh, Laplace of if you have Laplace of e power a t into f of t that can be written as uh, f of s minus a. So, which means uh, change s to s minus a. So, after getting f of s here, after getting f of s, so we are changing s to s minus a. Here, a value is uh, minus 1. So, change s to s plus a. That is s plus 1. So, 4 by s plus 1, the whole square plus 16 will be the required answer here. So, expanding this, we are going to get this form. Then finally, I need to uh, multiply by t, then find out Laplace of that. So, Laplace of t into e power minus t sin 40 is given by minus d by ds of 4 by s square plus 2s plus 17. Just differentiate f of s. This is what now what we got here. This is what called f of s. Differentiate with respect to s and multiply by minus 1. That is what called derivative property. So that is what we are going to do. So derivative of this will be 1 over s square plus uh, 2s plus 14 uh, plus 17 the whole square multiplied by derivative of the denominator will be 2s plus 2 is the required solution for the given problem. So going with uh, the sub question 1 minus cos a t divided by t. So we are going to apply we know the uh, property called Laplace of f of t by t is given by integral s to infinity f of s ds f of s ds so first find out laplace of f of t then apply integration for that you are going to get the required answer so here f of t will be 1 minus cos a t find out laplace of that so laplace of 1 is 1 by s laplace of cos a t is psi s by s square plus a square this will be f of s now apply the property Laplace of 1 minus uh, cos a t divided by t will be equal to integral s to infinity 1 over s minus s by s square plus a square ds. Now to integrate this separately, so we know the property under integration that is integral of f dash of x by f of x dx, f of x dx is equal to log of denominator that is log of f of x. Also we know that integral of 1 over x is log x. Knowing this uh, uh, integration, I am going to apply the integration here. So, integral of 1 over s is log s minus 1 by 2. For, since uh, derivative of s square minus a square is 2s, to get 2s here, just I will multiply and divide by 2. So, I can rewrite this as 1 by 2 times of log of s square plus a square with limit s to infinity. Then applying loss of logarithm, here uh, I have applied loss of logarithm here, 2 times of log s minus log of s square plus a square. So, s running from s to infinity. So, apply loss of logarithm here, log of a, a by b, that is s square by s square plus a square, s limit ranges from s to infinity. Before applying the limit, I just I am taking s square as common in the denominator. So, what I am going to get? So, s square divided by s square times of 1 plus a square by s square. So, s square s square get cancelled. You are left out with what? Log of 1 over 1 plus a square by s square. Apply the limit now. So, as s tends to infinity, a square by infinity will be 0. So, 1 by 1 plus 0 will be 1. Log 1 will be 0. Minus log of apply the lower limit s tends to s it, s itself. Therefore, so, you are left out with 1 by 1 plus a square by s square. So, simplifying that, 
we are going to get minus 1 by 2 times of log of s square by s square plus a square by taking LCM. So, is the required solution. So, going, going with the next problem. So, the problem is on uh, periodic function with period 2a. So, we need to solve the given discontinuous function. So, consider the given function as it is. So, as per your request, I am doing this uh, problems. So, I need just one like button from your side and also share this video with your friends. So, after considering the given function, so we they also provided uh, the period is 2a. So, according to periodic function, Laplace of periodic function can be written as Laplace of f of t is equal to 1 over 1 minus e power minus s into capital T integral 0 to capital T e power minus s into small t f of t dt. Here, capital T is what? 2a. Just substitute that. After substituting, so as the interval has been splitted as what? 0 to 2a has been splitted to what? 0 to 2a has been splitted as 0 to a and a to 2a. In the uh, interval 0 to a, the value is defined as k. In the interval a to 2a, the value is defined as minus k. So, knowing this concept, so I will split the inter interval using the integration. So, after splitting, I will substitute f of t as k for the interval 0 to a and from a to this is a to 2a make a correction uh, f of t is minus k that is what i have substituted so uh, yeah, as i find out uh, the k is common term here you can uh, take out that common term and just integrate with respect to t so as we know that integral of e power a t with respect to t will be what e power a t divided by a in such in such a in such a way i can write this as e power minus s t s e power minus s t divided by minus s limit 0 to a similarly here a to 2a so substitute the limits upper limit minus lower limit so this is what i am going to get so after simplification as we know that e power 0 will be 1 so it is 1 by s minus by minus becomes plus so as we are getting common term here minus e power minus a s minus e power minus a s it becomes minus 2 times of e power minus a s plus 1 plus e power minus 2 a s. Now I can rewrite this problem as I can rewrite this as e power as I am writing this as you can consider this as b square minus 2 a b plus b square a square plus a square. So I got a square plus b square minus 2 a b that can be written as what a minus b the whole square. So, after writing a minus b the whole square, I can rewrite the denominator term as by using loss of uh, uh, indices, I can write that as e power minus 2as can be written as e power minus as the whole square. So, now after further uh, to go with further simplification, I am going with a square minus b square can be written as what a minus b into a plus b. So, I can write the denominator term as it is like this 1 minus e power minus a s into 1 plus e power minus a s. So, one term of 1 minus e power minus a s, 1 minus e power minus a s get cancelled. You are finally left out with k times of 1 minus e power minus a s divided by s into 1 plus e power minus a s is the required solution for the given problem. Going with next problem by using a convolution theorem. We need to find the inverse Laplace of 1 over s cube of s square plus 1. So, for that, I will be going with according to your convolution theorem, I will be consider 1 over s cube as f of s and uh, 1 over s square plus uh, 1 as g of s. That is what I have done here. I will find out L inverse of f of s will be t square by 2 factorial. L inverse of g of s will be sin t. So, after finding L inverse of uh, those two functions, so I will name that as f of t and g of t. By convolution theorem, I can write that as L inverse of f of s into g of s will be equal to integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u du. So, then I will substitute what is f of u as I know what is f of t. In place of t, now I have just u. So, for that reason, substitute t equal to u in this expression. I am going to get u square by 2. Similarly, 
in this expression replace t by t minus u you are going to get sin of t minus u du then go with integration by parts so apply integration by parts 1 by 2 times of integral 0 to t u square sin of t minus u du for this uh, apply uh, integration by parts retain u square as it is integrate sin integral of sin is minus cos of t minus u derivative of t minus u is minus 1 since we we are differentiating uh, with respect to u so we are going to get minus 1 minus derivative of u square is 2u and integral of minus cos is minus sine of t minus u derivative of uh, t minus u with respect to u is minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 will be minus 1 the whole square plus derivative of 2u will be 2 times of cos of t minus u divided by minus 1 the whole cube so if you differentiate again with respect to u uh, if I differentiate 2 with respect to u, it will be 0. That's why I am going to stop at this stage. Find the uh, apply the limits here. So after applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit, for this case, here this term get vanishes when you apply upper limit minus lower limit. See here, when I go with upper limit, uh, sine of t minus t will be 0, sine 0 will be 0. So when I go with lower limit, u equal to 0, 0, u equal to 0, 0 into anything is 0. So, for that reason, I have cancelled this term and I have strike off this term to 0. So, you, I am applying only limits for these two terms. So, upper limit minus lower limit. So, t square cos 0 minus 2 cos 0. So, go with lower limit 0 minus 2 cos t. Simplifying this, I am going to get the required solution as 1 by 2 times of t square minus 2 plus 2 cos t. Before going with the next problem, for... Uh, more videos you can refer my previous videos to refer the previous videos i will be providing the link in the description using the unit step function find the laplace transform of f of t of the given uh, discontinuous function so but according to unit step function i can write uh, as we have three steps function here so f1 f2 f3 the interval is a to b the interval a to b has been here so a value equal to pi and b equal to 2 pi this is the way to identify a value and b value so f of t is equal to f1 of t plus f2 of t minus f1 of t into u of t minus a plus f3 of t minus f2 of t into u of t minus b then substitute uh, the uh, f1 f2 f3 functions and a b values after substituting take the laplace on both the side and name that as equation 1 so according to uh, unit step function we got this expression u equation 1 then find out laplace of f of t minus a find out your yeah, laplace of f of t minus a into u of t minus a which is defined as what which is equal to e power minus a s into f of s so how to find out this so consider whatever we have here this term as f of t minus a so here the value of a is pi so therefore f of t minus pi will be equal to cos 2t minus cos t simplifying this by changing to ne i need to find out f of t change t to t plus pi here t to t plus pi so i am going to get f of t equal to cos of 2t plus 2 pi as i am changing t to t plus pi similarly t changes to t plus pi so cos of e1 pi plus theta will be cos theta so plus uh, how we got plus cos t means here as we have here cos of pi plus uh, t means it will be minus cos t so minus into minus plus cos t then apply laplace on both the side laplace of uh, f of t is f of s laplace of cos 2 t is s by s square plus 4 laplace of cos t is s by s square plus 1 similarly find out uh, laplace of g of t i am going to get g of s by just changing t to what here t plus 2 pi by changing t to t plus 2 pi so then i have applied the, the uh, state uh, statement here so laplace of uh, t minus pi into u of t minus pi can be written as what e power minus pi s since a value is pi here e power minus pi s into f of s similarly it will be equal to which will be equal to e power minus 2 pi s into g of s i know what is f of s i know what is g of s 
and uh, I can find out Laplace of cos t that is s by s square plus 1. So therefore this will be the required solution for the given problem. Going with next problem to find the Laplace inverse of the given problem. So as the denominator is cubic equation. So convert that to factors. So I got the factor you can make use of calculator to find the factors of the equation. So I got the factors as minus 1 minus 2 minus uh, means uh, uh, the roots of this equation is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. So therefore I can express the fa factors as s minus 1 s minus 2 s minus 3. Now I will resolve this into partial fraction. I can uh, rewrite this equation as what a by s plus 1 plus b by s minus 2 plus c by s minus 3. Multiplying on both the side by those factors, I am going to get this expression. Then I will be finding out a, b, c value by just equating these factors to 0. So for that reason, first put s equal to 1. I got the value of a as 1 by 2. Once I put this uh, value of s equal to 1, I got the value of a as 1 by 2 in this expression. In this expression, I will put s equal to 1. Similarly, I will put s equal to 2 in this expression. I get minus 1. Similarly, put s equal to 3 in this expression, I will be getting c values 5 by 2. So now, substituting a, b, c values and taking uh, l inverse uh, l inverse on both the side, I am going to get l inverse of 1 by 2 is constant, l inverse of 1 over s minus a. You, you need to know what is l inverse of 1 over s minus a is nothing but e power a t. So for that reason, we can write one L inverse of 1 by S minus 1 is E power T. L inverse of 1 by S minus 2 is E power 2 T. L inverse of 1 over S minus 3 is E power 3 T. This is E power 3 T. Make a correction here. E power 3 T. So is the required solution for the given problem. Moving on to the last problem. So this problem is very important. So in all the paper, they will be asking uh, the differential equation and using uh, Laplace transformation, we need to find the solution of differential equation. They have given the second order differential equation here with a condition y of 0 equal to 1 and y dash of 0 is also equal to 1. So consider the given question as uh, y is depending on with respect to t. So after the, uh, considering the given question, take the Laplace on both the side. I have applied the Laplace. Then Laplace of those derivatives can be expressed as like this. Uh, for second order, Laplace of y double dash of t can be written as s square into Laplace of y of t minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 4 times of Laplace of y of t minus y of 0 plus 3 times of Laplace of y of t which is equal to Laplace of e power minus t is 1 over s plus 1. Now applying the condition, so wherever we have y of 0, that will be 1. y dash of 0 is also 1. So this is also 1. So and then collect Laplace of y of t coefficients. So that will be s square plus 4s plus 3. That is what I have got. And shifting the remaining term to right hand side I'm, and simplifying further, I am going to get this expression and in the left hand side I will be taking the factors after taking out the factors cross multiply that factors to the right hand side I will be getting Laplace of y of t f is like this then take L inverse so y of t will be this equation now I need to find solve this equation uh, by using L inverse so to solve this expression I will uh, express this in terms of partial fraction so apply partial fraction find out ABC values so as you all know how to find out uh, uh, ABC values by using partial fraction. So I got a, B value as 1 by 2, C value as minus 1 by 3, sorry minus 3 by 4, A value as 7 by 4. Substituting these three values in this expression, I am going to get L inverse of uh, 1 over S plus 1 as E power minus T, L inverse of 1 over S plus 1 whole square as T E power minus T, L inverse of 1 over s plus 3 as e power minus 3t with a constant abc value is the required solution. So this is the way of solving the Laplace uh, problems. I hope you all understood. You, I, I think you all enjoyed my YouTube channel. So I wish you all the very best for your examinations and don't forget to press like button and also share this video with your friends. I thank you very much for watching this channel. Thank you all.